In this video, I will cover how to log into your Adobe Creative Cloud account and how to get Photoshop, as well as how to log out and how to log in through slightly different means. First thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to adobe.com. So make sure that you go to adobe.com and it will bring you to a page, something like this. It changes every once in a while, but that's mostly because they're promoting something or another. Once you're here, what you will do is you will go to the top right corner of your browser and go to sign in. Click that, and that should take you to a new window. From that window, it's going to ask you to create an account or sign into your account. You already have an account. So every student uh, in the Los Al district has an account as long as they're signed up for my class. So don't immediately start putting in your Go Los Al email. What you're going to need to do is you need to go down just a little bit further and go to continue with Google because we've already created you an uh, account with your Go La Salle email. So make sure that you click on to continue with Google. From there, it's going to ask you to choose your account if you've already logged in or to, uh, to type in your Google account or your Go La Salle account. I'm going to log in with my teacher one. When it brings you to this page, I want you to be very careful. Make sure that you choose Enterprise ID. Do not choose Adobe ID. Adobe ID is for personal accounts. So if you personally want to pay for Adobe Creative Cloud, you're welcome to do that. If you want the school to pay for it, which we already have, make sure that you click on the Enterprise ID. Click there and it'll take you to a login where you will put in your GoLaSalle information and your password. It might ask you to do it uh, a couple times, but don't be too worried. Type it in each time and then it'll bring you to a page like this. From here, this is where you download Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere, uh, Lightroom, whatever it is that you need. We have license for each of those, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, it has a front page like this and you can see that it uh, it's telling us about Photoshop and it'll tell us how to get the app or I could come to Illustrator tells us about Illustrator and we can get the app. Getting the app is equivalent to downloading it. Uh, you might end up on a view uh, and you can see the little waffle with the view all. You might get to a page that looks something like this that has all the things, all the different software that you could possibly have. For you, it'll probably say Git or download. Uh, for me, I've already downloaded all these, so they say install. Um, uh, so, uh, or update or something like that. You're going to want to install or get the Photoshop app. So from here, we'll kind of walk you through this once more, except through a different way. In the top right corner, you can see that there are a couple of icons here. The little blue circle is your account. So you can see I clicked on it and it brought me to, there's my name, there's my Go La Salle. I'm not, I don't have a Go La Salle because I'm a teacher, but you can see that it has the La Salle account and it says it's an Adobe account. And you can sign out. I'm gonna sign out a little briefly. And you can see it brought me back to this page where I can sign on with Google again. Another way to do this is in the very top bar, if you're working on a Mac, it's a little bit different if you're working on a PC, um, but you can see that it's installed the Creative Cloud icon. I'm gonna zoom in here so that you can see it a little bit clearer. It looks like a little CC to stand for Creative Cloud, and they're kind of inter interlocking together to make a cloud-like icon. When I click on that, it will open another little window. And you can see this is the window that we are pretty familiar with, um, the sign-in window. Again, do the same thing. Click with continue with Google. It'll bring up a thing like this. You either type in your email um, 
and make sure that you use enterprise ID. It says, we're all set. I have a lot of apps, so it's gonna take a while. But that's about all that you need to do. When you go to download Photoshop, make sure that you have ample amount of time to download it. Make sure that your device is plugged in so it doesn't accidentally close. And uh, periodically, it's going to want to update. It'll have a little icon up on the Adobe CC uh, icon. 